CSCS, as you know, is a public-private partnership utility. It is a joint venture between Reliance Infrastructure and Government of Delhi with a 51-49 partnership. And uh, we are serving about 4.5 million consumers. Uh, we are spread across a large part of Delhi, almost 900 square kilometers. We are serving almost two thirds of Delhi in terms of the consumer for total uh, Delhi households. BSCS has been at the forefront of adopting best practices and modern technologies uh, to improve uh, operational performance over the years. We have been almost uh, on a regular basis reviewing our various initiatives towards enhancing consumer services and also how we can do our uh, utility service in the most optimum uh, cost uh, efficiencies. And the result of which is evident by the fact that BSCS is amongst the utilities with lowest ATNC loss today of approximately 7% across the globe. Uh, today, BSCS consumer feels empowered with the kind of utility service available through various digital modes. Uh, we have established the first uh, Digi Seva Kendra to cater to the uh, consumer satisfaction and uh, fast paced delivery of various services. We also uh, provide 100% reliable and quality power at most affordable uh, rates uh, amongst the metro cities. We are working uh, very seriously and aggressively towards implementation of advanced uh, digital technologies like home automation for enhancing consumer experience and introducing demand response program. Uh, this opportunity is coming from the introduction of smart meters, which uh, there is a now Ministry of Power mandate also. And uh, we are taking this opportunity to enhance our capability in terms of delivery of our services to our consumers and also uh, optimize various services, uh, cost. And uh, as I said, uh, this could be a tool to enhance our demand response initiative with the consumers. Uh, further, uh, we are also contributing significantly to the energy transition journey of the country and decarbonizes efforts which uh, we are taking in terms of uh, cleaner and more cost efficient green energy. Uh, we have almost 2400 megawatt of tie up of the renewable power uh, and uh, that is a great step towards uh, moving towards a green discount. In future, also, we are looking into opportunities where we can use battery storage and uh, uh, hybrid generation and green hydrogen also in the coming times in our total power purchase portfolio. Uh, we are also looking into avenues in which uh, we can use artificial intelligence and machine learning, uh, more IoT-based asset monitoring system for real-time monitoring and predictive maintenance for our equipments. Uh, we are also programming our CSR programs in a manner so that uh, there could be constructive impact on the lives of people where we operate and where we deliver. So these are the broad uh, you know, objectives and framework in which we operate and uh, we are steering ourselves accordingly in our pursuit for further excellence. See, the entire country will witness a transition with the adoption of renewable technology, uh, more and more digitalization uh, of our activity, uh, and particularly the smart initiatives which we are taking forward. So all the technological discussions which are related to the field of a smart initiative like smart metering, smart grid, how we can automate our network, uh, what are the things in which we can improve upon and adopt uh, digitization and digitalization. And uh, within this uh, 
area you know the adoption of electric vehicles and the challenges which are associated with that that, that in terms of our uh, load management uh, the entire concept of distribution uh, uh, energy resource uh, management because now we have a uh, not uh, only the supply side we have uh, multiple uh, uh, one uh, multiple uh, points of generation and uh, uh, and uh, that integration will have its own challenges <clears throat> and cyber security is another thing where we are uh, because um, as we are adopting new new uh, newer methods uh, cyber security would become a challenge for any utility so these are various things where i think isgf uh, uh, you know uh, these kind of deliberations and the international experience which comes along with this will add value to our uh, own objectives and uh, i'm quite sure Uh, as we move forward in partnership with ISGF, it's always a learning experience, and uh, uh, definitely what we have experiences which we have gained over the years is an opportunity for us to share uh, with the participants also.